All right, so what's up guys? And today in front of me, I have two devices running on iOS 15 beta 2, which was recently released by Apple. So I'll quickly go into settings. And as you can see, iOS 15, iOS 15, 81H is the software version number that means I am running on the beta 2. So if you guys recall iOS 15 brought in with it a new feature called as FaceTime screen share or screen play on FaceTime. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use it, how to set it up on your device and so on. So first things first you got to go into your settings, scroll down until you see FaceTime and then scroll down until you see an option called as share play and tap on it. And if it's disabled, just enable the option and you're good to go. Do it on your iPad, your iPhone, your Mac as well. And that is pretty much it. That is all you have to do to set up share play on your devices. So once the setup is done, all you have to do is go into the FaceTime app and call your friend. So for some reason, the iPad when laying down on the desk does not accept FaceTime calls or does not connect FaceTime calls. So I will have to keep it this way. And yeah, then again, all you have to do is tap on new FaceTime or tap on a contact, select the contact and make a FaceTime call to the person. I'll just quickly mute it over here. So there you go. You are inside the FaceTime. And as you can see, there's this new UI, which is on the bottom and on the top of the iPad and the iPhone respectively. So then all you have to do is on the iPad or the iPhone, find an option right over here which says screen share or share my screen what i'll do for this demonstration is i'll share the ipad screen and i'll quickly show you so if i tap on share my screen it will give me a countdown and then if i go to the home screen as you can see it says open and now i'll just quickly put that to the side and as you can see the screen is now shared with the other contact and it's pretty smooth there is a bit of a lag but again this is a beta so you don't expect much with it but as you can see it's pretty uh, pretty seamless and if i let's say open any app the app is opened quick as well there we go so if i just quickly go out and if i stop sharing so all you have to do is tap on the status bar over here and hit on the share button which will disconnect the facetime or the share button with the other person so i'll then quickly enable the camera here so this is the screen share option running on the facetime calls but there is another option called as share play which will work on certain apps that support the functionality itself so one app one official app to support it is apple tv so as soon as i open the apple tv it will give me an option on the top which will say will share play automatically and then if you miss this prompt it's it's all right all you have to do is go back to the home screen wait for a second or two and then open the app back in tap here hit on the share and then it says share play automatically for tv which is apple tv you get an option to ask next time or just share your screen so it is automatically or it will automatically share the screen from ipad on the other devices so let's say for example i play the coda trailer as you can see it says that the screen is shared i just quickly turn down the volume and if i tap on the screen i'll have an option to actually open it or go to full screen then i can rotate my phone and put it this way and as you can see it is pretty pretty seamless and yeah i literally see no lag it is instant and i don't know if you guys can see it or not but it is actually pretty instant there is no delay and the volume was also coming out pretty fine so and yeah it works really really good so once you are done i'll just quickly pause it here once you are done it says paused as well so that's a that's a good thing if i go back it will say moved playback and then if i tap on either device is let's say i want to close it on the other device and if i tap on the cross it will give me an option to end it for everyone or end it for me or cancel so if i select end it for everyone it will basically end it here as well so yeah there you go and then you can anyway hop back into your facetime call you can also go into your facetime call over here 
and uh, yeah you can also if you want to share your screen with the other person you can do that as well share your screen give your countdown here go to home and let's see there we go the screen sharing is now started and as you can see again it's not the screen sharing is has a bit of a delay but the screen play on apple tv apple music and stuff like that does not or i think will not have any issue in the actual streaming itself so yeah i mean as you can see it is a pretty but for some reason your camera shuts down and uh, that's a bit unfortunate and when you turn the camera on i think the screen sharing is now cancelled out so yeah when you share your screen your camera turns off and there's no option to turn your camera on if you want there you go you can also make it full screen so that's a good thing as well so yeah that is pretty much it for the video this was the new feature called as screen play as you can see uh, as soon as i laid my ipad on the desk the facetime call got cancelled i don't know it's it's pretty weird but it happens but anyway that was pretty much, pretty much it that was the screen share or screen play option on facetime if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one